The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees dedicated to protecting people forced to flee their land just recently turned 70 years old. The organization was founded on December 14th of 1950 with the adoption of a statue by the United, General, United Nations General Assembly. Well, to talk to us more about the UNHCR's role, joining us live is the Assistant External Relations Officer in Kuwait, Ms. Lulwa al turkate Good afternoon, Ms. Lulwa, and welcome. Good afternoon, Ms. Lulwa. Good afternoon, Abdurrahim. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Um, thank you for having me on the news, and uh, thank you for highlighting the 70 years anniversary for UNHCR. You know, the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees was created in 1950 during the aftermath of Second World War. It was supposed to help the Europeans uh, who fled their homes and then disband within three years. But due to the several humanitarian emergencies at that time, uh, the UNHCR work have extended and we have now reached over 70 years later. And uh, during these 70 years, years, UNHCR have achieved plenty, where in 1954 and in 1981, UNHCR have won the Nobel Prize for the groundbreaking work in Europe and in other parts of the globe. Uh, the start of the 21st century has, has UNHCR helping not only refugees, but also internally displaced and also uh, statelessness in several parts of the world, including the Middle East, Asia, Africa, and Europe, and so on. Uh, UNHCR now has more than 70,000 personnel working in 135 countries, and our budget, which started with $200 million, has now have reached more than $8.6 million and helping more than 50 million refugees and persons of concern during the 70 years of service. Well, that's outstanding. How can you evaluate uh, the state of Kuwait's role in achieving the UNHCR's establishment? Uh, UNHCR considers uh, the state of Kuwait uh, a strategic partner, but also a role model uh, to other nations when it comes to humanitarian aid and also in facilitating and creating uh, mo uh, uh, resource mobilization uh, strategies. Uh, the distinguished work that uh, late Sheikh Sabah Ahmed Al Jabr Sabah have achieved and have uh, have organized on the ground is is internationally renowned. And uh, that was also the reason why uh, he was named the humanitarian leader and Kuwait as an international humanitarian center. And with the new leadership of Kuwait, uh, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Ahmed Al Jabr Subah, uh, this uh, this policy is going to continue, and we are looking forward to collaborating not only with the Kuwaiti government but also with the private sector and the civil societies in, in, uh, in uh, providing humanitarian aid to more than 80 million uh, persons of concern, refugees, uh, internally displaced and citizens around the world. Well, that's absolutely incredible. Uh, 